do you think a more strict policy, maybe requiring some farmland to be given? I think so. There should, should be a certain percentage mm -hmm. that is, you know, required to be uh, used either for farmland or woodland. Right. Uh, in amongst the development, because uh, you know, if you don't, you're going to end up having to ship your food, food from wherever. And do you think development has, uh, you know, these people buying farmland for housing developments and things like that? Do you think it's affected your farm? Well, it's affected the price of land. Mm -hmm. I probably would buy some more farmland if it weren't so high, but mm -hmm. I can't pay $10,000 an acre to farm. Right. Do you have any farmland around you right now that's either for sale or has sold and the price was too high? Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how far do you think you could have expanded your farm had it been on a price you could have afforded? Well, there's some other things I could do. Mm -hmm. Attitude of the country is changing slowly towards more local food, and you got to have farmland to produce it on. So, how are young people going to get started farming when the land is so high they can't buy it? Farm? Right. It will. I don't. I can't say that I know the exact answer, mm -hmm. but farmland needs to be preserved. I agree. And there needs to be some way to help young farmers that want to get started, help them get started because they can't afford to buy $10,000 an acre right. land to farm on. Right.